So before we started getting bombarded with phone calls on this excursion, wanted to do a quick video before it was even washed or touched. This excursion was purchased by one of our very good customers. He had a very specific build situation in mind. He wanted to take this truck and do some long distance traveling with his wife, their two dogs, and their camper. And unfortunately, not very many vehicles gave them all the features necessary to do that. Matter of fact, there's not a SUV that qualifies for the kind of towing he wanted to do with space and size. He could do a pickup truck with a camper shell, but that wasn't what he wanted. So he's been sourcing and trying to find an excursion for years that met this criteria as he's retiring and wanted to make this happen. So. He ran across this 70,000 mile, 2005 excursion that met all those criterias. He sent it to us and said, have at it. Knowing exactly what he wanted to do, we did. The equipment you see has less than 500 miles on it. He specifically wanted this interior package of black and tan, the lights hitting it wrong, but to be able to appreciate the interior. But again, we're getting ready to detail it. So I want to do this video prior to that so people can see just how nice this excursion was. He made us go over it front to back, top to bottom before touching it because he was getting ready to drop probably 15 grand with us. Modifying it, he wanted to make sure it was the right vehicle. As you can see the power steps, you can look at all the nooks and cranny areas and other than just fuzz and dust this truck is ridiculously clean factory floor mats factory headliner in perfect shape non-smoker and no rust none zero he did not want rust and he found one with no rust and again, we will probably undercoat and spray underneath this truck. So we wanted to show it exactly how it was before we did that. He had us do four inches of lift. That was front and rear springs. So they had all new bushings. That was front and rear sway bar drops. We did not delete the sway bars. You can see how clean even the brake lines are. We did Fox shocks front and back. Fox dual steering stabilizers, 35 inch mud terrain Toyo tires that have barely worn the nips off of them. Check the 4x4 out, check the front end out, check the ball joints out. This truck's even got the factory headlights. Now they're not but a couple hundred bucks to replace, so if somebody wants them replaced, we will. But these are the factory forward headlights. A few bug splatters. Couple little nicks in the paint. But he found the ultimate excursion. Even all up in the little pocket holes, you can see it's not rusty. Rocker panels are not rusty. Frame's not rusty. Of course, the suspension's not rusty because it's brand new. Just some dirt streaks that are gonna all come off when it's cleaned. Here's the dog leg that is typically always rusty. Bottoms of the doors. Passenger side for some reason is always the worst and this one is not even to begin fuzzing. I mean, not a bit, as you can see. No modified exhaust, no modifications under the hood, no bypasses, no deletes. Nothing has been touched, which is exactly the way he wanted it. Not that some of that stuff's not a good idea. Not that the next person probably won't do it, but it didn't need to be done. Also had the passenger power seat. That was a big deal. It has it. Paperwork in the glove box. Getting ready to be Virginia inspected. It even still had the warning sticker hanging out of it 
and the leather sticker on it when it came in. That's a previous inspection for North Carolina. The key for the lugs. Very, very, very legit truck. One in a million or one in a billion probably. I don't know that there's excursions left with this low of miles. It does have one little paint touch up spot right here. Actually, after looking at it now, that's just a scuff. That'll probably buff off. The pictures you'll see posted on the website will be detailed. But there's not much to detail because it's already extremely clean. If we dust any paint on it, it might be right back there, but that's about it. One clean truck. So, thanks for watching. If you're looking for an excursion, this truck could be put back to stock, no problem. But at the height that it's set up at, it's fully practical, still legal. No ride issues, no driving issues, no handling issues. Oh, we did add a onboard air compressor and airbags because he did not want it to sag when towing. So that's a digital push button, self-leveling airbag system. We even put a nice clean little fitting in there. And there is your bags with the proper adapters for a lift kit. You could not do a cleaner, better job on setting this truck up. So the unfortunate part, we may not have said it, but it's in our details, is the customer was told several days after finishing this truck that he is going to have to have a major neck and back surgery, which is going to put him down from any traveling, towing or hauling, or anything that he wanted to do. So in his case, his loss is going to be somebody's gain. If you got any questions on this vehicle reach out check the website give us a call not many other excursions but pickup trucks galore thanks for watching davis auto sales youtube channel click to subscribe for daily updates